well, a particularly difficult second half took that game away from you, George. Yeah, I think that's a pretty humbling second half, to be honest. You know, we, we obviously lost our, our two best strike runners that we had on the pitch. And I don't think we adapted well enough in the second half. And, you know, we probably tried to continue playing the way we set out to play. So, um, you know, I've got to take accountability for that. Probably at half time, we needed to, to be a bit tighter with the plan. Um, and again, that's, that's on me. But I think second half, I thought Leicester's, Leicester just comprehensively beat us in most areas of the game. Yeah, as you said, we were reflecting on that as we were doing the commentary. And, and key players to lose. Before the game, we were talking about the excitement Gloucester can bring to the game. And when you lose Santiago Carreras and, and Lloyd Evans, and sorry, and Rhys Zammett as well, you, you know, your strike's gone. But you seem to lose some composure and lots of penalties gave Leicester field position, really. Yeah, and, well, I think the first thing was I don't think we took enough advantage of what we had in the first half. I know we were winning at half-time, but I thought there were some other moments where we, we could have been winning by more. But as you say, once we lost those guys and we probably did get sucked into a bit of chaos and we were trying to play as if... Those guys were on the field and moved the ball wide and, you know, we've got Chappers who, with all due respect, is a nine on the wing and, and we're trying to get the ball to him uh, and not do what's been good for us all year. So, um, yeah, look, I think, you know, we did lose our call, frankly. We lost our call. I thought Leicester ramped it up, squeezed us and once they realised we were losing our call, like you say, we gave them easy outs with penalties near their line and um, the pressure just, it was just like a snowball effect for the second half. Were you... Uh calm at the end. We couldn't quite understand what was happening at the end of the game because Leicester got three tries. We're obviously looking for a fourth. Um, you won possession from, from the kickoff. We thought the ball was going to go dead and kept playing. Yeah, I mean, I think, like I say, I don't think people are thinking clearly at the end there. I thought, you know, we've got to take our hats off to Leicester. I thought they, you know, they showed they're a championship winning team and, and that's why they are a championship winning team because they, they kept it. I think we showed that, you know, we were a little bit in headlights at the end there. I don't think anyone was aware of the score. I think people were just thinking, let's try and nick another try. But um, yeah, it's, it's very, very disappointing today. Very, very humbling. You know, we've got to go away and, um, you know, we've got to really have a think about some of the bits we're doing and uh, I've got to challenge a few people. Too, too soon to have any news at all about some of those injuries or some of those players that are left? Yeah, well, I think for them to leave the field that early isn't a great sign, um, you know, so obviously it's too early to say, but, um, you know, a disappointing loss and also disappointing to lose a couple of key guys. George, thanks for your time and I still do wish you a happy Christmas. Thanks a lot. Have a good Christmas. Cheers.